Hi hey there guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you've had a great week. Um, this week I'm going to do a little bit of steel fabrication. The reason being is I'm doing uh, a charity run this weekend coming for help for the for Heroes charity. Um, it's a charity that helps um, ex-servicemen and their families if the, the servicemen has been killed in action. Um, they also help their families as well and it's a good cause every year um, a local Land Rover group do a charity run uh, called Convoy for Heroes and this year I've, I'm going to go and do it so what I need to do is when you do the convoy you need to display obviously flags and all this that and the other now I've not got nothing to attach to my truck to put a flag so what I've been and done I've bought a three foot by five foot Union Jack and a flagpole, carbon fiber flagpole, but I need to find a way of attaching it to the truck. So what I thought, because my tow bar on my truck is detachable, I thought I'd make a second insert to attach to the bit that's bolted to the car. So let's pop out to the truck and uh, see what we can do. Right, so the way this works is there's a pin go um, through the back there with a, a locking pin in the other side and you just take that pin out pull the pin out and then slide the whole unit out so my plan is I've got a piece of 2x2 two two box here to cut a piece of 2x2 two two box and do it so it just comes past the spare wheel and then my flag coming up the back here so I'm going to drill this so I can get the new pin through so then I need to weld a lug like this onto the new bit because what this does this just winds in to push against the tow bar to pull the, the lock and pin tight so get this cut to size and drill some holes in there so we can get our pin through and then we'll have to weld a plate on here with a small tube to hold our um, flagpole and then we need to put a slight clamp on it just to hold the pole tight and then what I might have to do I might just have to put something around the spare wheel like a bungee or something just to stop the flagpole whipping about but um, like I say it's only for the day so so anyway let's get this in the workshop I've, I've marked the holes where they need to be drilled um, we'll drill the holes in it and go from there right so this is where the hole is meant to go through there and there so I'm just going to center this and then we can get our holes drilled Got our lines, just dot punch it. So now we're going to drill. Let's get over to the press, a drill press, and drill it out. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a four mil pile a bit through just to give me a hole through. So now I'm going to use a stepper piece just to step it up. It's um, a bit easier than trying to keep um, changing bits all the time.
Right, so we have our holes drilled through. What we'll do is we just do a dry test, make sure it fits, and then we can move on to the next stage. All right, as we know, they're a little bit too tight, so I'm just going to run up another two mil, just so um, it's a little bit easier to go in. It doesn't really matter because the uh, lock and bolt will pull out the slack out anyway. Go and try again. Right, let's see if this fits. So far, so good. Perfect. And like I say, the upstand will be here, and then we'll put a bolt for it, like on the original, just to push against there, just to take any slack out of it. So no, I'm happy with that. That's good. Right, let's get back inside and get the front plate put on it. Right, now that we've got that to fit. What we need to do is get a piece of plate, which I've got some three mil plate. It's about 80 mil wide, I believe. No, maybe a bit more, maybe 100 mil wide. Yes, yeah, 100 mil wide by three mil thick. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off on the bandsaw, and that will be our fixing plate for the end for our flagpole to um, be mounted to. This is going to have to be cut off. To size, it doesn't need to be this long because it goes through the car too, or goes through the back too far. But I want to, don't want to cut it until I actually get it assembled and know where I'm actually going. So I'm going to cut a piece of this plate. I think I'm going to cut it about 150, 200 mil long, just so it gives me plenty of support for the flagpole. Um, I can't come up too high with the plate because that will catch on the door when you open the door so I won't be able to get the back door open um, but I can't go down too low because I don't want to bottom out if we go over rough ground so anyway it's a bit of a so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bit of 200 mil to start with and uh, we'll tack it and try it if worse come the worst we'll take it off and then cut it down a little bit so anyway let's get a piece marked at 200 millimeters get it on the bandsaw and get a cut and we'll go from there so let's get over to the bandsaw right so we've got bandsaw we will get this bit cut sorry about the noise in the background but it's so hot in the workshop I've got the fan going so uh, let's get this up out of the way get this cut and then we can start tacking up hopefully all right so we've got a plate cut Let's mark this where we want to go because um, this place is 100 mil across. We know our box is 50 for 50, so it should be around 25 mil either side. And we can get that tacked. Oops, get that tacked and uh, go from there, really. So that should be in there like that. We just need to decide. I think I'm going to put it central and then tack it um, and see how we go because so that's where our tube mount is going to be like that so I'll tack that in place with the welder and then we can try it and then we need to just uh, decide what we're going to go from there right so let's get this baby tacked in 
I'm just going to tack it and then check it. Helps if you set the welder properly. So we've got it tacked in. I'll just nip out and try it in the car. If it fits and works, then we'll get it welded up. Right, that works well, so I'm going to get it welded up. Right, there you go, all welded up, so uh, we can move on to the next part. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to round these edges, just give it a little bit more of a character, rather than just leaving it square and bulky like that. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I've got some uh, I've got some nylon, and I'm toying with the idea of making a nylon piece. Um, that I can screw through the back and then slide the pole into it and then just use a thumbnail or a thumb screw just to hold it in place stop the pole whipping about but um, that's going to be an experiment so what I'll do now is I'll get this cleaned up and uh, get all the mess cleaned up get the sides cleaned up get the corners rounded and uh, then we can think about getting our bit made to go on there but so far so good So I've rounded the edges off a little bit, just give a bit of a quick clean up. So what we need to do now is we need to make our peg on the top here to obviously so we can pull this tight once it's inside the, uh, the attachment bit. So I'll find a bit of steel and we'll get it cut, drilled and welded on. I've got a piece of 10mm thick uh, flat bar here. I've cut a piece 40mm in depth, it's 50mm wide, 
So I'm now going to drill a 5mm pilot hole through there so that I can then open it up to an 8.5 to uh, get a 10mm bolt for it to use as our locking point on the uh, attachment. So we'll get this drilled. Now I'll step that up to a seven. supposed to be 8.6 but I haven't got an 8.6 so what I'm going to do I'm going to put an 8.5 through and then just go gentle with the tap um, nice and slow with the tap So that's 8.5, so we'll get it over to the vise and get it tapped out. So we'll just run our final one through. That's it, it's all tapped out. One thing I always like to do, I always like to try and countersink the top of the screw a little, the threaded bit a little bit, just so that's stuck a little bit easier. It ain't got to be a lot, just a little bit, just to take the burr off. Makes it just a little bit easier to start, top and bottom. And then uh, that doesn't damage your thread up at all on your, uh, on your bolt. So what we'll do is we'll just get a bolt and we'll try it. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape this a little bit just to take some of that bulkiness off of it because we don't need all that. Um, so let's get it out in the garage and trim it to shape. Right, so this wants to be 70 mil away from the edge of that. So I'm going to draw the line along there at 70 mil. So that's where our plate wants to be. It's not very uh, square, but I can true that once we get it on the uh, get that on the um, welded on. I didn't cut it very straight. So, 
get this tacked. So, let's get that welded on. Alright, there you go. All welded up. So, oh, that's all welded, as you can see. So I'm just going to level this up, just clean up a little bit, because I cut that, as you can see, I cut that a little bit on the skew with. Um, so I'm going to clean it up, round it off a little bit. And then hopefully, that's all the fabrication work done. So there we go. So that will go into there, like so. Obviously we'll have a lock and nut on there. I'll just run a tap through there just to clean any burr off us in there. Um, but there'll be a lock and nut on there, and then that'll obviously come through and just push on top of me. So the actual steel fabrication side of things is complete now. So what I need to do now is to make something for the actual flagpole to sit in. And like I said before, I've got some 40mm nylon. I don't know if you remember me doing the adjustable feet for my lathe. I've got some of that nylon left that I could make and then just drill through and fix it on that way. Um, once it's painted, I could uh, drill and put some self-tapping screws into it to hold in place. There's not going to be no stress or anything on it, so it should be fine. And then I can put a thumb screw on the outside in a couple of places just to nip it to the pole. So hopefully that hold it in place. So anyway, that's that bit done. I'm going to get onto the lathe, get a bit of 40mm bar and get it balled out. So I'll see you guys over at the lathe. Right, so I've got a piece of 40mm nylon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this end up then flip it and clean the other end up. And then I'm going to bore a hole through. Um, I'd like to go nearly all the way through, but I don't know whether I've got a piece long enough to reach. So let's get this cleaned up and go from there. Right, so now I've bored that out, this is the baseline, and I've drawn a centre line in there. What I want to do now is I want to drill a couple of holes, one there and one there, to fix it to my uh, plate. So I'm going to drill through, all the way through, and then what I want to do then is I want to put a big enough hole in the front here, so I can get a cap screw for it, and then I'm going to countersink the back a little bit, so that sits in there so I can do it up from the outside but with a nut and bolt to make it more secure on the bar. So I'm going to drill, uh, like I say, one there, 
and one there. So I'm going to set that so that's parallel in the vise. And then I'm going to put a 5mm hole through both of those all the way through to the other side. I'm going, to be using, I'm going to be using these dome head cap screws and I need a hole uh, 10 millimeters to get that through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stepper tool again. So, we've got our two marks there and there, so we will drill them and tap them. I don't know if you guys have seen these. Um, these are a drill and tap all in one. So in theory you should be able to drill through and tap without changing bits. So hopefully. Right, so there's my flagpole holder. This is the flagpole. Can't really put it in because it's too long, but I'll sit inside there. Right, so there's the flagpole holder. Um, what I'm going to do now is just drill and put, I may put a couple of thumbnail screws or a couple of thumb screws in just to hold it in place so I can level it up. Um, that might be a little bit better. Or I may just put one through the middle. I don't, I'm not quite sure yet. But what I want to do is I want to go and try on the car and see what it looks like. Right, so I've cut that down, cleaned that all up. So what I've got to do now, strip it down and get it ready for paint. I'm only going to paint it black because it's only going to be used once a year. Maybe more, maybe not, I don't know yet. Depends on how we uh, how it pans out. But um, yeah, get it painted and then it should be ready for the weekend. So let's get it over into the garage and give it a coat of paint. 
Right, so what I need to do before I paint it, I need to degrease it because obviously being new steel, it's going to be covered in grease or oil, should we say? So I'm just going to use cellulose thinner and give it a good soaking to break the grease down. This is old steel anyway, so a little bit of surface rust on it. But like I say, I'm not worried about it because um, it's only going to be used once a year, maybe. So I'll just give it a bit of a degrease. Right, so now that's dry. Um, the first coat I'm going to give it is a coat of primer. This is high build primer. It doesn't really matter that this is all I've got at the moment. And I didn't want to be mixing up um, two pack primer just for a little tiny thing like that. So I'm going to use a rattle can. So um, yeah, we'll give it a coat of this and give it 15, 20 minutes to dry and then we'll get the top coat on it. Right, so now it's been painted and dried, left overnight to dry. I've just reassembled it all back together um, to make sure it fits perfect and it fits nice and tight. I've done the lock and bolt up to push against there to through. I'm going to paint this at the weekend so that'll match in so it looks a bit better. So, other than that, it's all done. Flag's on, even though there's no wind to blow the flag at the moment, but hopefully at the weekend there'll be a bit more wind to blow it about. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, I know it's only going to be used for maybe one weekend a year but good little project and i'm happy how it's turned out so anyway guys i hope it has been interesting if so please hit the like and share button um other than that have a great weekend take care speak to you soon and bye for now